All right, we're recording on that. All right. Some of them are traveling. There's some justice in them traveling. I think I said it on here, by the way, to where y'all cannot unmute yourself, and I don't know how to um, fix that unless I go. Oh, wait, never mind. We can unmute. Okay, cool. All right, that'll help. And thank you for doing that because I know we're going to have questions at the end for our various points. So y'all are welcome, more than welcome to talk. Right now we're going to give it just a little bit longer, wait for everyone to come in, and then we'll uh, we'll get started here. Yeah. We'll just, when we do officially start going over things, we just ask that y'all mute yourselves. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Mr. Sullivan. Hi, Mr. Weaver. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Get out the room. <laughs> I miss you, so. Hello. Let's see. I think this is pro <laughs> this is probably going to be the most well attended meeting. Wow. We've had yeah. Watching the numbers go up since March. Oh, Hi. Hi, Chelsea. <laughs> How Hello. How are you? Good. I'm good. Hi, Mr. Weaver. Hello. Who is talking? I don't, I don't know who's talking. Oh. Um, that hurts my feelings. Yay. <laughs> All these people signed my pillow. <laughs> well, my pillow. Yours, uh, uh, whose picture is on that pillow? Uh, um, <laughs> Let me figure uh, out who's pi who, whose uh, pillow it is. Where did you call? All right, I think we're getting the last little bit here. 79, 80 people. Okay, well that's enough people to spread the spread all the news that we're gonna talk about. So that's that's fine. Let's see, clicking it, clicking it all. No, I can keep doing that. You can keep doing that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get started because, like I said, I don't want to keep y'all too long. I know y'all, everyone's excited to get started for uh, for for the first day of school. For, for school, to actually have school uh, uh, for the first time over the past six months. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yeah. So we got just a few things that we wanna make sure that everyone knows. Um, that's the reason why, why, we're, why I wanna do this meeting today is so everyone um, can understand what the procedures are going to be first thing in the morning. And I do mean in the morning, um, we have uh, the, uh, um, a temporary guidelines that we're going to go by because I'm never going to use the word the new norm because this isn't normal and this is not going to be new the new normal so so um, we just want to make sure that everyone knows how this is going to work um, starting tomorrow so before we do that in lieu of my weekly email I do want to do go do some of the things that I would normally put in the email and that's start off with the birthdays so I want to give a big old happy birthday to the following people this week Darren Barnes is tomorrow, first day of school. Mm -hmm. What a birthday present. Jacob Still is Wednesday. Taylor Farrell is Thursday. Colton Henderson is Thursday. And Matthias Paget are all Thursday. So happy, happy birthday, birthday. Happy, happy birthday from the mighty black and gold. When we send the song, a song that means you're getting old. Hey, we're so glad to have you on this happy. It's a bit. So we need from your friends. Happy birthday. Hey, hey happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> all right. The next thing on my list, and I went back and forth about should I, should I tell just the marching band folks on Tuesday, but I'll go ahead and tell you now so I can work on getting a prize. So, section dress up days. I wanna congratulate the section that had the highest percentage of dress up days for the rehearsal camp la uh, last week. <laughs> was the trumpet. Hey, good job, trumpet. Go, trumpet. I say highest percentage. I did actually do quite a bit of math in that. Please don't ask me to redo that again. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, good job, trumpets and the the band. One of the three bands um, that had the highest number, highest total of people dressed up was <laughs> Pet Band C. Hey, way to hey. go, Pet Band C. Way to go, Pet Band C. Okay. Um, next item, the rock this week. The RADA fundraiser is due on Tuesday. Um, 
We, I, I know that the second day of school still may be kind of chaotic, but we need to get those in so you can get, we can get your, the product back to you and so we can get that fundraiser money in. So make sure that you bring in that, that uh, RADA fundraiser form, all filled out, everything. We'll go over that at the beginning of class and we'll take it up. Each class period. class period. You guys yeah. make sure that checks are made payable to MHS Band or Milton Band. Make sure they have a physical address and telephone number along with the number 201 in your name on the bottom left. Your name and 201, that's our account number, on the bottom left and then a physical address and telephone number under the customer names. Most checks are printed with that on there. Just make sure you know that. All right, moving on down, the next thing. Uh, we, uh, if you, uh, everyone got checked out a, an instrument or equipment of some kind um, from, from wind to percussion all the way down to color guard. Uh, we need to make sure that all everybody brings your instrument, all instruments and all equipment on Monday. Um, you can utilize the locker room to store stuff. We're gonna talk about how that's gonna work here later on. But make sure that if you got if you got took any equipment of ours home, even guard flags, you need to make sure you bring all the them back. Uh, color guard members that are on here, please make sure that you take a sharpie and put your name on that flag, on off the flag, pole. on the pole, pole tip, <laughs> uh, pole tip, that white pole tip. Okay, so make sure y'all do that. So we you know make sure we get the right uh, flag back to you. Um, Next in the news, Allstate. I know we have, I've, I've gotten a couple emails about Allstate questions about people interested. If anyone is interested, come talk to us. Come see us this next week at some point. Um, I will let you know the Allstate auditions are going to be different. So far they are still, the, the convention is still happening. Okay, well, well I'll let you know if that's gonna change. But so far that's still happening. But the things that are changing for the Allstate auditions, Allstate band and jazz band auditions this year, is that they're going to be completely online. They're going to be using an app called Heart Out App. Heart Out. Like your heart. App, yeah. So um, if you're interested in auditioning for jazz band, or for, uh, for uh, Allstate, one of the Allstate bands, the Heart Out App, you can go ahead and download that. It's free. Um, and then we'll give you further information on how that will exactly work. Um, but I will tell you, they give, they given each group a two-day window. That means that on... And one of these two days in that group, you can submit. Um, in the, the 11th and 12th grade, that's a symphonic band window. The 11th and 12th grade window is the September 25th and 26th. The uh, 9th and 10th grade, the concert band, all state bands, the window for that is September 27th and 28th. And the jazz band window is October 2nd and 3rd. Um, there is no sight reading for the audition this year. Um, but you do still have to do your 12 major scales. This is for the band, the uh, concert and symphonic band audition. 12 major scales starting on concert C, two etudes, and see us for more information. Um, see us for more information about that if you're interested. Um, I do encourage those that are really wanting to push themselves as musicians to, to go out. You're not, you can't, you're not gonna lose anything if you do audition. Um, so, um, all right. So that's got, got, got that stuff out of the way. The next thing is um, the morning, the starting, what's gonna happen tomorrow? It's gonna be a little different. Um, we're gonna start from, with the morning. I, what I normally call, what we normally call the morning crew. Um, these are the students that, you know, that, that come here and, and as you're welcome to and, and hang out in the band room and um, from the time it opens till the first period bell. You're still gonna be able to do that, um, you know, like always. But because of things that we're having to do, there's gonna be some stipulations. If you're gonna, if you get here early before that first period bell, you, are, you can still come to the band room, but you might have to either hang out outside or in the main band room area. We cannot, we cannot hang out in the locker rooms or any of the other rooms. Um, we gotta remember small spaces, compact spaces. We gotta steer clear of that. So if, uh, for those morning crew people, when you come here, um, you, you, you're going to need to either hang out outside or in the main band room. Of course, with masks, um, always with masks. Uh, if you need to get to your locker, you can still do that, but you have to go in there, take care of your business, and go right back out to one of those two uh, places. Let's see. Before I get too far ahead, I made a whole checklist of things, so I want to make sure that I talk about each one of these. Let's see. Not locker room. You may go in there. Students. Oh. Um, so yeah, you can go hang out. You, you hang out here. Um, of course, 
Uh, we ask that if you're in here, you know, you, you do you always wear a mask. You need to make sure you stay, stay keep your distance um, and all that. You, you got all the marks on the, on the, on the carpet and everything. Um, for those students that have not received a locker yet, we will get those to you ASAP. Uh, I'm gonna, I have to go through the list of students that have decided to go full virtual or, or that, um, that decide for one reason or another are not returning at all uh, that, uh, and, and see what, what I can, what's available. what's available. And I'll put tags on the lockers and everything to let you know. So we'll get you those as soon as we can, okay? Um, mask be worn, let's see. When you do get here, and this is gonna be this procedure for clap band classes, for morning crew, for every every time we're at the band room, you're gonna enter in the softball field side door. That's the entrance door. You're gonna enter in the softball field door. The instrument room door is exit only, okay? We're trying to create one pathway uh, in our area that we can do that, okay? And when you do get in, when you do get here, you'll see that the, the uh, the uh, um, maintenance has given us a um, hand sanitizing station, and there's a nice sign right at the door that says, before you go, go further, sanitize your hands. It's one of those that you just swipe your hand under it's, and, and it, do it, that. It distributes yeah. automatically. So it won't, so it's not like a little pump thing. So, um, but yeah, so that's morning crew folks, okay? Not, like I said, you can get, Drop off, pick up what you need to in the locker room, but you can't, don't, no one needs to hang out in there. You need to be in here or right outside at the picnic tables. All right. Speaking of pick up and drop off, um, this is like a school thing. I want to make sure all the parents know that uh, during school, this is during classes, when classes start, uh, the, the pick up and drop off area, all of it, even if they have to, even if band's the only class, all of it is at the uh, Panther Green. At the front the main of school, bus ramp. the main bus ramp. So, um, and that's during school. That's not at the end of school. That's not right at the. That's not the morning crew. This is when school's in session, and you are you have to you're coming in late for some for whatever reason. Or a band may be your only class. Band, right. Yep. Drop off, pick up at the Panther Green at the front of school. I know we we Mr. Weaver and I when they said that Mr. Weaver and I just kind of went ah. Oh. And they know it's it's inconvenient, but they're trying to make sure that that there's a uh, uh, monitoring moni flow. monitoring yeah security. yeah security monitoring flow um, and, and all that at all times. So make sure you wear that schedules. <laughs> hey, before you say that, though, real quick, guys, if you're you know dropping if you're coming in the morning, parents, if you're dropping your student off in the morning down here by the band room is fine yeah. because there'll be buses utilizing the bus ramp then. And also, you can't do it during, if you're picking up a student, it can't be on the main bus route during six period because you got to think about when the regular school buses are using. Any other time is fine. Just once we start first period all the way up through the beginning of six period, you need to drop off on the main bus route on the north side of campus. At any point, if you have a question during this time, make sure you write that down. At the end of all of this, we're going to go, we're going to get to all of you. So write it down so you don't forget. Um, Schedules, and that's been a, a big thing, obviously. Uh, you can go on Focus right now and see your schedule. We, I, the, we can't answer any questions about Focus. That's not our area. <laughs> that's above our pay grade. Um, but you will get a hard copy schedule, students. You'll get that first period, as you always do. Uh, they have maps all around campus. We have maps all around the band room when you get here uh, if you do need to know where you're, where you're, uh, where you're supposed to be going. So class-wise, so um, hey, hey guys, when you did you did you mention when you get here on the front of the auditorium, those windows there will be every student's name and their first period teacher. If you don't know where you're going, same thing on the front of the gym. There'll be lists, and you find your name. It's ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh, twelfth grade list. Find your name, alphabetical by last name, and find out where your first period is if you do not know. So. Um, when you get your schedule or if you've already seen your schedule if you do not have a band class on there you need to come see us come see us so we can verify to the guidance which band class you're supposed to be in and that's color guard percussion concert band jazz band all of that you need to come see us if you're in the wrong band class you need to come see us i tell you that don't go up to guidance and tell them i'm in the wrong class they're 
they're going to be dealing with other things. Tell us, and we will get you situated. Um, so no band class, wrong band class, come talk to us. Um, let's see. Just the in general thing um, that, that your first period is going to let you know. If you have a double booked class, say second period, you have two classes that you're supposed to go to second period. Or second period has no class, empty. During those times, during that class period, you need to go to the media center. Media center is going where all guidance issues are going to take place during the first week of school or dur during the first day. So double booked or no class, empty class, you will go to the media center during that class period. Don't go early, they, they'll, they'll send you right back, okay? All right, good, moving on. And I know my, uh, I'm gonna let everyone know if you're texting me right now, I'm, I can't see it. Um, I'm just trying, I'm trying to get through yeah, this, so I'll get to that at the end. Um, okay, so we're getting now to the band class procedures. Whenever, and I, I, I kind of talked a little bit about this, um, of course, you're going to enter in through the softball field side door. You're going to sanitize your hands at the station. You're going to go quickly, do what, get pick up, drop off, pick up what you need to in the locker room, and then you're going to come have a seat uh, or stand at your designated spot uh, in the main band room area. This is for all band classes. Now, tomorrow, um, tomorrow we're probably not going to have those designated areas ready. Tomorrow we're just going to have you come drop off, pick up in the locker room, like, you know, before, after you sanitize, and then just go to a, a pink, a pink, uh, pink piece of tape on the carpet, all right? We'll get, we'll get you a list, um, you know, kind of designate where you're going to stand. Um, let's see, enter the sanitize quickly, go to the designated area, spot. Brass, brass, all brass players, all brass wind players, tubas, euphoniums, trumpets, French horns, trombones, Melphone, all of you, you need to make sure you secure a towel or a pee pad to bring with you to school and to take home with you. I put in here, I, I don't, I, I can't remember if I wrote that down in here or if I had suggested, I, oh yeah. I suggest trying to maybe get five of them, one per day, so you don't have to deal with a soggy sponge on Friday of who knows what. Scrolling in your <laughs> face. <laughs> But um, yeah, we're, for for the time being, we gotta. That's we got. That's one of the things we gotta mitigate with this is we can't just empty empty whatever comes out of our instruments anywhere. Unless we're outside. Outside's fine. Yeah, I know. I see some of y'all looking. Yeah, I believe me. I've seen some strange green fluids come out of these things. So you need to make sure that you get you bring a towel. Bring and I don't. It, you know, just just a little towel is fine or a pee pad. Um, and preferably something that your parents aren't going to miss. You know what I mean? Don't Maybe even little bath cloths or, or something. Bath cloths. Don't go to that. Don't go to those towels in the bathroom that are hanging there for looks. Those don't <laughs> absorb anything. Yeah. So so make sure you bring that starting tomorrow. We're probably we're not going to be playing in class, but we need to get used to that routine. Okay. Um, the water fountains. We they did they they did uh, install the. Um, not the big bottle fillers that we can that we know, but they put they put a spigot in our 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 lower um, uh, water fountain to where you can fill up a bottle right there. So, in I don't know, can you see? Yeah, there's a better picture. So that little spigot, you can't put your mouth around it. You don't need to put your mouth around it. And they shut off the water to the to the uh, ones that we drink directly from they shut off the water the flow to that so that's the only water um, that we can that we will be able to fill, get okay so make sure you bring a bottle and make sure you fill it up every chance you get it's supposed to be a clear bottle uh, supposed to be a clear bottle yeah they yeah can't bring their oh yeah and stuff. oh visco not this 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 those, those container cups i don't know they, we, we can't, it's got to be a clear bottle. You can't bring the, water the, the, yeah, the, I forget what they call those things. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I just put in here, wash hands, wash hands, wash hands, wash hands. I mean, clear and simple. You, you Hopefully you know by now when you use the bathroom, you wash your hands. But any chance you get, you pass by the sanitizer, you pass by a soap station, 
you bring your own sanitizer, just it's not gonna hurt to, to wash your hands at any moment that you can. Um, for the time being, we are not gonna be using chairs unless you have an instrument that you can't play but sitting down. Case in point, tubas, maybe even bassoons. Um, the concert tubas, I mean. Right. So, um, but we're not gonna use chairs. Two reasons, one, the more things we use, the more things we have to clean. But also, if you look in the back, back there, all of our percussion instruments are, are set up where the chairs would normally be. All of our chairs are in the small rooms and it'll just be, it'll take too much time and be too chaotic for us to, to get those chairs. Um, you guys, guys, it's about reducing contact points and keeping you in large open spaces. That's what this whole thing's about, to keep us all safe. So, so yeah, we're just, and we can stand for 50 minutes. We've done it. We've done it for 13 and a half hours, kind of, sort of. So we, we had two hour rehearsals. Two, already, two so. hour rehearsal. Um, so we can, we can do that. Um, and again, that's temporary. We'll, we'll, when we can, when we're safe to bring them back out, we will. All right. Moving on. Digital days. Y'all heard this happening. We'll kind of go over this more as it happens, but I will let you know that my and Mr. Weaver's digital day's designated day is Tuesday, starting the second week of school, plus three days into the next nine weeks, three weeks into the next nine weeks. Every Tuesday, we will have our digital days. Now students, every day of the week, you will have a digital day somewhere. One of your classes. In one of your classes. Um, our day is just Tuesday. So Monday, so Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll have in-person playing like we always do, but Tuesdays we'll have a an exploratory band digital day. We say exploratory, we're 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 still trying to think through some ideas for that. I, yeah, the, the guys, the whole purpose of that is to in case we have to go back home and do the the the, the remote or you know the, the faraway learning like we did back the last nine weeks. Um, everybody will be more familiar with the platform. Microsoft Teams, um, the county has purchased smart music for all of our band students. Um, of course, we know Flipgrid, we use that as well. You did that with the auditions. And so we'll just use this opportunity every Tuesday to get more familiar with the software um, and to kind of get everybody, you know, a little bit more technology advanced um, in that, in the, the event that we have to go that route. So, so just understand that's, that's the reason, that's what that's all about in all of your classes. So some things, some, some things we need, need you to make sure that you're ready for, and that's not just for our class, but, but the, the, um, the first one is because we have such the large numbers that we do, uh, we're gonna have a limited amount of school laptops to distribute on those days. But uh, we, um, the admin has asked if we could train you on how to use the per your personal devices, MP3s, phones, for for down for use of teams or or whatever we're going to do because I mean y'all remember back in March we all had to get really creative and figuring out what how we can access this where we have to go for this so this is going to be one aspect if we do get shut down we want you, we want you to know how to use utilize everything in your arsenal to be able to get us to uh, communicate um, so. Get, get to, um, I would go ahead, if you haven't, um, download Teams, download Outlook, uh, Office Outlook. All of you have, um, and, and I'm not sure when, when you're gonna get your password, I think you've already gotten it, but all of you have access to all the mic whole suite of Microsoft Office. You can download that, you can use that, as long as you know your student ID and password, you can get on these. If you don't, we'll get, we'll, uh, us teachers will help you get that during this first week. But you can go ahead and download these. Go ahead and access them. Um, I say Teams and, and Outlook because guys, your, your school emails, we're gonna be utilizing those a lot more. We, the teachers, are gonna be utilizing those a lot more. Every single person has an email that is, a, every single person that's a student in San Rose County also has an email. So we gotta get used to checking those. Your teacher's gonna be utilizing that um, quite a bit for communication. And um, with, with Teams, with the digital things, uh, headphones are a must. They're required. Uh, you can imagine, because we're literally, what we're doing right now, you got a picture of this in the band room or in a classroom where Mr. Weaver and I, or I will be talking to you through a computer. You'll be sitting in the band room or whatever classroom 
if, if you don't have your headphones in, that's going to create a lot of feedback. So you got to make sure that you have headphones. You can, it don't have to be expensive. Get, get, you can probably walk down the street and take one off the road. <laughs> so you can do whatever. I'd sanitize those before you put them in your ears. But, um, but yeah, make sure you do that. So that's pretty much all I got on digital days. Yeah. Um, so moving on to lunches. Don't I? We got a list of who has what lunch. We'll go. The teachers will go over that with you. We're not going to do that here. But we, to, in order, you know, they, they they got a lot higher number than um than they expected for 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 students in San Jose County at Milton. Um, and lunches kind of created a problem because they're trying to distance and they're also trying to you know get everyone fed. So they've opened up several parts of campus around the cafeteria and all that. Um, but and I, Mr. Weaver and I talked, and you know, fourth period is the lunch period. Fourth period is also jazz band, and we're going to be in here cranking it out, do what we do. But um, I told him, you know, I'm o I'm okay with students eating in the main band room area um, if if that's going to help with space in the cafeteria. So I'm going to say that again. I'm okay with you eating in the main band room area during lunch. Now here's some stipulations, though. You have to, and this is the admin told all the teachers, if you allow them to eat in the room, you have to bring your own lunch. You can't go to the cafeteria and then come back. Um, you have to bring your own lunch. You cannot disrupt us in jazz band when we're practicing, when we're playing, um, we're, we're doing our thing. Our lunch is actually third lunch, so if you want anyone that has third lunch, you'll be fine, but that first hour of a fourth period, we'll be in here banging it out. So please don't disrupt us um, during that. When you're in here, you need to make sure you stay six feet apart from each other while you're eating, because that's the whole point of keeping, getting less students over there. They can space out more. So when you're here, you need to space out. Um, stay, you need to stay in the main band room area. Um, I said that. Um, we, I prefer you not eat at the picnic tables, guys, because we, we, he, he's Mr. Weaver's teaching. And I'm teaching, and there's no one out there really keeping an eye on y'all. And there's, we, we can't, that's not safe. Right. So, so it's about supervision. Yeah. So if you're going to eat at the band room, I'm okay with that. But you need to make sure it's inside the main band room area, not the locker room or anything else. And, and guys, we will eventually at some point have to limit the numbers. So, I mean, if, if 50 people try to show up and eat at the same time, we've already got jazz band in here. So just kind of keep that in mind. But this is kind of an overflow area. And we do welcome you to come do that. For, so. And for band students only. Don't for bring, band students only. Don't bring right. non-band students. Uh, and throw your trash away and don't make a mess, please. Yeah. If, it, if it gets messy, I will say that we, 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 won't, we just won't allow that. So we got to do our part. Remember, this is our home, so make sure we keep it clean. All right. Moving on. Shirts. Shirts. The, um, thank you to everyone that sent me your shirt order. Some people didn't, so I kind of had to guess <laughs> what you had. Uh, I went through charms and saw what you filled out whenever you filled it out. So um, those shirt, those uh, the band shirts should arrive on Wednesday, and we'll get those distributed now. These um, the band shirts are a part of everyone's fair share, twelve dollars. And I ask that before we get you your shirt, everyone you, you need to make sure that you have at least twelve dollars paid in your charms account, so we can get that. Um, so before, so we can get that to you. Um, it's just one of those things it, it, that could easily, their paradise screen print is going to want their money and we got to have money to pay them. So make sure that you have, this is going to be our uniform for this, for, for the, at least the marching band side of it. But everybody, everybody uh, is getting a shirt, but you need to make sure you have $12 in your charms account. If you do not know how to pay that, you don't know how to access that, please email me and I will get you the steps to go through that. Um, it was an overwhelming decision about blue jeans. So we're, we are going to go with blue jeans as our bottom blue jeans or, or blue jean shorts. So um, <laughs> make sure you, you, you just, you know, go figure out what you need to, where you need to go for get that. Um, and it's going to depend, depending on, you can decide which one of those you want to wear. But right, I would say, um, you know, if it's hot, you know, you might want to wear shorts. But as long as they're blue jean style. You wear that's fine, okay? All right. Now, next, we're going to talk about extensively about the marching band um, and how this is going to work now. 
Um, as you know, that uh, the we we did officially get or we did get a working. <laughs> It's still kind of working, but a, a football schedule for this year. Um, and and uh, we, uh, we, Mr. Weaver and I have talked through it and, um, and everything. And here's, here's how this, what we're going to be doing. Um, there are five home games and three away games with that schedule. Well, after discussing with the band directors in our county, the band directors in Okaloosa and in, in Escambia, all three counties, have come to the conclusion none of the bands are going to be traveling this year. So we're not doing any away games. Um, and we were only gonna do three of them anyway. Um, so so um, we're not, uh, so if you see that schedule on there, which by the way, that our football schedule is on our calendar now, you'll see the games we're not traveling. And guys, that's a safety thing. We're the biggest group to travel um, or in whatever capacity. Um, and 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 so we we weren't a hundred percent sure, you know. Well, we didn't know if, if the safety measures could be very well maintained just for us. But the big thing is they put a fifty percent capacity on um, on all games. Fifty percent. Stadium capacity Stadium. can only be fifty percent. Yeah. So if if the bands were to go into the visiting stadium that would take away from the numbers that that stadium could have so which would take away from the the ticket sales and the concessions and all the other things that 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 school would would you normally get to raise the money you know same situation for us we depend heavily on our concession stands and when we lose those numbers then less people then our bpa doesn't have the money to buy the things that we all utilize so that's that's the other reason. Yeah. The good thing is we have five home games. Yeah. Instead of four. Most schools have four home games, four away games. We were somehow lucked up we have five home games and three away games. So 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 that's that's the bad news. Now, the good news in all this is that we have given we've they have said that we can have the entire band in the stands all together as long as we are six feet apart. We told them we're gonna everyone by that point, we will have our masks. Or we will have masks. our belt covers. So, and they said, well, as long as y'all are doing that, you can. We'll have the entire band. So, for all the home games, all the varsity games, we're going to have the entire band there. Um, we are. We haven't gotten to the point about discussing. Well, are we going to go on the field, do a show? In fact, I don't think. Well, we're we're, we're right, not. Right now, we're not. No. Um, we 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 are still in talks about going on the at least going on the field and and standing and playing something. What some of the music that y'all have in your folders, but um, but as it stands right now, we're going to we're, we'll be all together. Um, so that gives us five performances there, and that does include Color Guard, by the way. To the Color Guard members that are on here, this is this is everybody all together. Um, now on that, just so you know, the first home game is not until October second, so the first two games are away. So yeah, for the for the for the full band for the full band, yeah. Um, what we. All have talked about uh, too, and we're, we're going to do this because I mean, every, we we had we have this uh, great thing with the pep bands with the rotations on that, and we talked with the coaches, and we're you know uh, we're trying to find performance venues, uh, performance things because we're doing this work, we're doing these rehearsals, we want to make sure that y'all we 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 offer as many performances as as we can safely. And uh, with that is the freshman JV game schedule. They have three home games, and we have three pep bands. So what we're going to do, the um, we're gonna we're gonna utilize pep band A for one game, B for another game, and C for the last game. And this is gonna be the Thursday, September twenty fourth. From uh, and those games are JV freshmen. They they generally go five to, about nine. to nine. Uh, we'll have a different call time, but. From five to nine, we're gonna. So September twenty fourth is gonna be Pet Band A, October eighth is gonna be Pet Band B, and October twenty second is Pet Band C. And if you forget those dates, those are already on our calendar. Now, um, some things that we've talked about, especially with those games. Let me make sure I'm not getting too far ahead of myself. Okay, no, I'll talk good. about rehearsals. Okay, okay. All right, with, with those games, um, especially, you know. <laughs> Uh, again, there's, there's there's some good things that could come out of this. Is that we may let you eat in the stands while we're at those games. 
Usually we don't because you're in full uniform. We don't want ketchup and mustard stains all over our jacket. We're going to be in shirts. I still don't want ketchup and mustard stains all over your shirts. But we do realize that, especially at the JV games, if you're there for, you know, maybe four, four or five hours, you're, you're going to have a, there's going to be a break between those games that you could very well go get some food at the concessions. That'll help two things. One, you'll get fed if you want to utilize it. Mind you, this is your money that you need that you'll be using. Two, that'll help support the other concession areas um, that are open during those games if you would like to utilize it. We're also thinking about this for varsity games as well, for the full band. We wouldn't let y'all go the all at once to do this because that's, our, we can't do that. But we would pick some times at maybe a, a third quarter or something or a halftime at some point that we would say, okay, pep band A or, or trombone, you go here, you know. Yeah. So, so again, I mean, we're thinking about that. We'll let you, we got a while. And guys, it's still a work in progress. We're, we're doing what we can to make this season as fun and enjoyable, um, while also considering the, the impacts that it's going to have on all the schools. Um, that's why we're not going to Guffrey's. That's why we're not going to the bar. That was our two away games, and then Crestview was the third one, and they wouldn't allow us over there because their county's not doing any traveling. So um, we're just trying to, to find ways to make it fun and enjoyable for you. So. Did you And you just told them that the county, they're, they're not allowed to come here. Yeah, the other counties, nobody, no, none of the bands are allowed to travel outside of any counties, and nobody's traveling inside their counties either. So, all right. So, um, you know, again, we'll talk more about that and let you know. Come, we'll come to a decision on how that works about the food, um, if we if we go that route. All right. Um, homecoming. I will go ahead and let you know. Homecoming is going to be November sixth. That's our last game of the of the, of the normal season. Against Choctaw. Against Choctaw. Um, I'm not sure about what's happening with normal homecoming festivities and whatnot. We were just told that homecoming is November 6th. We'll have a, we're having an organizational meeting on September 1st uh, to see what we can do and what all that. Um, band Senior Night, all you seniors, Band Senior Night is on my birthday, October 23rd this year. That'll be a wonderful birthday present. It's sad though, I don't like seeing y'all leave. So Senior Night, October 23rd, you can go ahead and kind of get that get that in the works, figure out who you need to tell. Uh, mind you, we haven't gotten any guidelines about who they're going to allow with you and all that stuff. So, right. But it is September, I mean, October 23rd. Um, rehearsals, I'll go ahead and tell you, rehearsals right now are every Tuesday from 4 to 6. All marching band rehearsals are every Tuesday, 4 to 6. We will be outside from now on unless there is, you know, two hurricanes coming or whatever. No, we'll be outside from now unless it's inclement weather, which there may be a lot of rain on Tuesday. Um, and we'll be in the auditorium if that's the case. Space out and do what we can in there. Um, I, I, I'm not, I put on here, we're keeping an eye on the hurricane. You know, we're still doing that. And if we need to cancel Tuesday, we will. But right now, it doesn't look like we're going to need to. But we will keep an eye, continue to keep an eye on that. If we have to, we will let you know as soon as we can on that. So um, just I tell you, from every Tuesday, 4 to 6, just remember from outside, we need it, we're going to get acclimated. And my reasoning for that, that we can all meet outside. But we also need to kind of get, get used to sweating because we're going to be at games. We're going to be using a lot of energy. we got to get used to, you know, that, how that works with our and, body. And being spaced out. And being spaced like, out, yeah. All the phasing issues. Yep. Um, so, so understand, guys, that's all band members from 4 to 6 every Tuesday. We're not breaking up the pelt band times anymore. And that's okay. band and color guard right yeah. there. Um, and a, a note on here, guys, now that we've talked about all that scheduling stuff, just like with school, this could all be put on hold at any moment. We know that dearly now. So just keep that in mind that this schedule, this is what we're going with right now. This could very well change. Next week. Uh, uniform, they may give us a break to get something from you to say. There we go. All right. Uh, um, so anyway, so so just if this changes, we'll let you know, and you know, just bear with us. Which brings me up to my next point. Did you want to say anything else about marching band? No, we're good. Go ahead. Um, just some food for thought. This new school year, there's a lot of new things 
that we're all getting used to. And, and we're all, it's a new routine, temporary routine, but it's, it's something we're all going to have to get used to. So I just ask, be patient. We're all going to make mistakes. We're going to do, th we're going to f do this one thing and then it's not going to work. So we got to do something else. Be patient, be patient with the teachers, be patient with yourself. We're going to get through this. We're, it's just something that we have to do for right now. We use the term, the term was used for, for teachers to give on students back in March, a term called uh, great phrase, grace and mercy. Um, and and that, that grace and mercy went to grading, how, how the grading system was gonna be working the last nine weeks, uh, about how homework was gonna be taken in. You know, we gave you, if your attendance, we used a lot of grace and mercy as teachers. And students, keep that in mind, and I'd ask that you give, give us some grace and mercy there's a whole lot of teachers and a whole lot of us that are learning, like I said, learning totally new things. And we're still learning it, and we're gonna get it to you. But just remember, great grace and mercy goes both ways. So I ask that. And you guys, let me let me say this, just like with a mask, and of course that's all required now. Guys, we're gonna do every, we need to understand, we gotta do everything we can do to keep each other safe, to keep each other healthy, to keep this thing moving along. Okay, we don't want to, you know, we want to do everything we can to make sure that that football season, that concert season, that all those things continue this school year, that we're not sent back home for three months or six months or whatever. So, um, and all these changes, such as what door you enter, cleaning your hands, wearing your mask, we're doing this so we can try to get back to as normal as possible. Okay, so, so just kind of understand that in the process as well is I know that um, I'm ready for all this to be over just like you are. And so let's all work together and let's be examples. Band students are always the top students in the school. Let's be examples in, in, in how we act and how we, we try to, to take this stuff serious, okay? And one, one last thing on here and then we'll take some questions um, is thought about this the other day, you know, I, they were going all, we we're going, they were going through all the stuff that we have to do on the first day. And, you know, admittedly, I was getting a little overwhelmed just thinking, man, we got to do this. And, and at some point, I would like for them to know who I am, you know, the, the folks in other classes that, I don't, that don't. And, you know, for, I don't know why this popped in my head, but with all the new things that we're learning, it, it's very easy to make excuses. And, and I want you to remember this. I can make excuses all day as to why I can't. But all I need is one solution as to why I can. So take that as you will. But you're going to be, we're all, you're going to be doing some new, new things for now. Um, don't make excuses because excuses don't get you anywhere. Make solutions and we'll get through this. And you will too. So that being said, are there any questions? You can unmute yourself. I hope we'll see how this works. You have any questions? Looks like we've got some already on here. One is what is a digital day? And what that is is, is a, a one day per week for each class, like the arts is on Tuesday, English may be a different day. In those classes, they go to the digital learning platforms that will be used in the event that we go back home and that we're sent back home like we were in March. That's what the digital days are. Um, are shirts going to be available for parents eventually? Right now, this is this is our, um, for those that didn't know, this is our year-to-year uh, our, our, our -year shirt. This isn't replacing the halftime show shirt. This is just a shirt that we're gonna be used to replace the polo shirts. We're gonna use this from, from here on out. And, and, and knowing those guys, parents, if we do that, we're gonna, we're gonna need to be pre-ordered. Um, we can't just go out and buy three or 400 you know, shirts and then hope that we get the money in. Um, we've been losing money that way over the past few years. So, so everything will have to be pre-ordered, but it'll the, let us kind of get the, everything underway and then we'll see about sending out a, some kind of online order form for the parents. I, so. I saw a question here, what time is band hall gonna be open each morning? I, I generally get here around, around eight o'clock. So you can sometime around then. Um, what, what, where is music tech class going to be? Math West 131, right across the way from the band room. Right across the parking lot. Students should, or on Tuesday afternoon, do students, or do students stay after school, school for practice? practice? Yes, yes. There's time, there's about, 
35 minutes between the last bell and rehearsal time that we ha they can, if they want to get a quick snack, that's fine. We will start at four o'clock though. We don't, we only have two hours, so we got to use every bit of that time. Big water bottles be brought and kept in locker. For the yes. yes. Big water bottles. Can big water bottles be brought and kept in the lockers? Yes. Uh, it, for the practice days especially. How will students be How will students be How will students with band as their only period have access to important handouts, senior quotes, submissions, etc. You'll have to keep an eye on your emails for that. Um, for, 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 for stuff like that. Um, if I'm sure the school will work that out too. How you'll yeah. be getting that information. In fact, so. you're you're probably you're you're probably going to get a lot of that through your virtual school or your your um, distant teacher. Um, so. Yeah, all, all the first day paperwork, for example, that's going out tomorrow. All the remote teachers will be sending that uh, remotely through through email because we just got that email a little while ago. If we do not have band on our schedules right now, so we do band or the class we are assigned. I'm Sir? hoping. Hit my Zana. Okay, CJ. Yeah. CJ, you're gonna have to quit unmuting yourself. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, if you don't have band, if you don't, Isabel, come see us. If you don't have band as a class, come see us, and we will get that. We will get that situated for you with the guidance. Let me let me address that real quick, too, guys. If you've got six classes on your schedule tomorrow, you will go to those six classes. You can see any of your teachers, though. There is a class schedule request change or class change form, schedule request change form that you can get from any of your teachers. And so, if you're supposed to be in band, that's one of the qualifying things that you can put on there. You can get that or come see us and get one. We'll get it filled out. We'll get it submitted for you. You know, if you just don't like what lunch you have, you can't change your classes for stuff like that. Okay, but but if you're supposed to be in a program, you've already had that class or whatever it may be. You can, um, they've got schedule request change forms that you can get from any teacher. You fill it out and wait for guidance to call you up. Same thing with band. Are we going to be able to change clothes after school? Yes, you will. You have, that's in that 30 minute times. Well, you can use bathrooms for that. I assume the freshman will be given access info to the first week. I assume too about Microsoft Teams. Um, that's probably part of the digital days to explain how that's going to work. Uh, for you understand the first week of digital days. There will probably be less digital <laughs> than than in person So because uh, we just got to get that get everyone knowing how that works uh, Find how to find the room number for your teachers um, Supposedly I'm sure your schedule card that you get tomorrow should have the room numbers on it um, I've kind of understood that I thought focus had them as well, but I've, I've kind of seen different responses about that We'll be able to sell food at concessions during home games. We are still working on that right now. So that we have not received the answer for that yet. So um, they just finally got the schedule stuff hammered out last week. But I know that they are trying to, to make that uh, make that happen for us. I did hear that this weekend. So let's see. We got any other questions? And if you have audible questions, if you'd like to unmute. And ask, yeah. Please. Any other questions? Is there a map on the website of the school? That's I don't think so. No. Good question. Yeah, but I know. I, I like I said, there's maps all over, all over the uh, auditorium, the gym, and all over the band room right now. In your classes. Um, y'all can. I th they put. By the way, they put those on the windows up here, so y'all could have a chance to come up before tomorrow. You can actually see your first period. Uh, T-shirt, like like you can see it on the schedule. They have it, and there's maps right next to it. So if y'all y'all are welcome to come up here on campus and okay. And I just heard there's a map of the school that is in the student handbook, which is in a PDF on the MHS pants or on our website, on the school website. Um, where do I get the card? Your schedule card is handed out during first period tomorrow. Again, if you don't know who your first period teacher is, look on the front of the auditorium windows. Look on the gym windows. It will have your first period teacher. On there, so that's where you. And then when you get the first period, you'll get the official schedule card. Okay. Right. Yeah, please pick up after school would be near the band. Yeah, after school, after school pickups can be near the band room. Yeah. Only only during school are pickups at the front of campus. But at three twenty uh, three twenty one, 
right there at that school is y'all can pick them up right out here about the band. As a matter of fact, if you're you're getting if you if you're coming to school brick and mortar for six periods, the South parking lot is one of the parent drop off areas, the pick up areas. Remember, if you're only coming to like band and ROTC or band class, if you're doing remote learning and you're showing up in the, sometime in the middle of the school day, that's when you need to be dropped off on the main bus route because they will actually kind of filter you in as you come in. So. Hey, I called um, the school on Friday and asked that question, and they told me that I could drop them off at the band room and pick them up at the band room. Well, we, I'll tell you, we, we got told Friday, yeah. it was Friday by Miss Letty, mm -hmm. not, not we, but all the teachers, the teachers got told, told Friday that, that they have to drop off during school at, at the uh, front. So we're just we'll try to get some clarification yeah. on that. Well, I'm just confused because I would think if you're doing remote, you don't want them going in the very front of the school to have to walk through the school because that's what I'm trying to learn. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to get clarification. We were, we were told that in the meeting on Friday. And so that we're just that's we're we're being we're giving out what we're told, but we'll try to get some clarification right. here. Also, on the digital days, once you guys really start, will y'all have remote kids staying home for those days or no? That's, that's a good. That, question. That's a really good question, actually. Hadn't thought about that scenario. No, one, no one's told us. Um, we'll find that out this week as well and put it out. Yep. So we've got two two things. We'll try to find out for you. Who is this to, by the way, so I can tell? Okay, thank you. All right, I will try to find that answer for you. Thank you. Will the notes from this meeting be available for the people who couldn't come to the meeting? We met our limit of 100 people. We are actually recording it. Mr. Schultz, you yeah. might can answer that. Yeah, so um, I have I set up a camera just on the other side of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking that camera and I'm going to put that that feed on our YouTube page. Um, I don't I'm doing that because I don't think y'all all want to see y'all's faces on our <laughs> recorded right. YouTube page. So it will be up there. I'm going to send a text out. As soon as we get done with this meeting, I'm going to send a text out to everyone explaining that you can find this video there on our YouTube channel. There. So, so if you've got friends that couldn't get in the meeting, because I saw some of that popping up on text earlier, then um, let them know that we were, it, sometime later this evening will be on our YouTube channel. And he'll notify everybody when that take, when it, when it actually gets uploaded. And if you want, if you made it to this, this uh, this far into the video, I apologize. I did not know there was a 100 member limit, so otherwise I would have streamed this as well. But okay. Any other questions? Uh, for the for the students who are doing virtual learning, um, how do they go about uh, signing up for the band class? It should already be signed up, I would think. Um, if they're not, we need you need to contact the guidance office probably tomorrow, and um, and, and make that and, and make that connection with them. Um, let them know that that you want your child to come to brick and mortar and be in the band class just for you know that one period, and do remote the other periods, and they'll they should be able to help you work that out. Would you agree? Yeah. Well, um, we can. If we can help you. We if you want to send you. us an email as well. Yes, if you want to send us an email, because we can tell we'll, them. We'll try to work it on our side, too. We can tell them directly. We put this, this, he's supposed to, they're supposed to be in this band. Okay, so just send, send me or Mr. Schultz an email, and we'll get in touch with guidance for you. That may be the easier way, because they're going to be swamped tomorrow. And, and then we'll, we'll get it contacted back. So who's, uh, whose parent is this that asked that question? I see that. I don't tell me. Uh, th uh, this is Victoria Arnold's mother. I'm Kim. She's in yes. the color guard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll check with guidance tomorrow. Joy Arnold. That's Joy Arnold. Yes. Joy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Do we have all county? And if not, is there still the present tense to go up and carry some skills? Yeah, we're still right now planning to do something. Just like with all state, we're planning to do something with all county. Guys, here's what you need to kind of. Like with all county and with even with concert MPA, um, there's a possibility some of that stuff may be moved back. All county's always been in January, and so we may be moving it back to February or March or April even. But we will still have all county audition, even if it's in some type of virtual format. Um, the plan is still to do something, at least let you guys audition. Um, so you you know you got your resume that you made the all county band, but um, but our but our goal is that we'll actually perform and do it do it in a live way. 
So that's our goal. It may have to be pushed back from January, though. So, Ball County still a go for now. Any other questions? No questions. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> All right. All right. So, I it, wrote a spell. yeah. <laughs> well, here's the deal. If there are questions, and and you're, you're all, we're always available. Um, just email us, and we will we will we will go through each of those with you. Um, because uh, for every question you have, we'll probably have three more to go along. With that. <laughs> so. We've learned this whole pandemic thing. Every question we have, there's at least three more questions we have to get answered <laughs> to get the answer to that question. So um. But guys, that's you know we'll we'll get through this as, as Mr. Schultz said we'll get through this together, so um, and do the best we can to to provide what we can for our students. Did Miss Menace, Did you have you you said you had a list of questions? You want to? No, no, no. Okay. I wrote. Making notes. I, gotcha. Okay. Liam wants to get, watch the Zooms because she says, "Mom, you need to watch this because I'm because she's working now. She's at oh, yeah. work. Oh yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, Thank I'll you. take notes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Guys. All right. Well. Um, here's to a great first day, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna be a great time, and I hope you're looking forward to it. I know we are looking forward to just seeing everyone, everyone's faces again. Mm. You know, have some normalcy there, so. Yeah. No doubt. You'll hear a lot of this stuff again tomorrow, yep. trust me, so. Yep. Okay. All right. So. Thank you. You're welcome, and we will see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Get your rest. Thanks. Yep. <laughs>